Hi Leo, welcome to Terribly Accurate. This is your general reading for October 17th through November 17th of 2016. So it's for Leo Sun, Moon, and Rising. Um, so a couple things to be said about this. Um, if you're watching this video right when it comes out, you might want to come back to it in a couple weeks because sometimes things resonate and click right away and other things don't. So the things that do, definitely take those and um, go with those and try to follow the guidance that um, the angels will give you because that's the whole point of doing these readings, right? Like even if what I tell you here might be negative, it's not because I want to give you bad news and wreck your day. It's because you need to have this information so you can make the best choices possible to um, have a happy, better life, right? That's the whole point of doing these readings. So um, anyway, sometimes things don't resonate right away. And so then you want to come back to the video later because they haven't happened yet and now it'll click, 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 make sense. Um, if you're thinking about things in regards to your career, you might want to check out your rising sign. If you are worried about your love life, check out your moon sign because things might click a little bit better there. Sometimes you um, just might not click with me. Our energies not, might not be aligned and you would need a different tarot card reader. But if it seems to all make sense to you, please like the video, share them with your friends, leave comments, um, and then subscribe so that you never miss them. And this is a good time to subscribe as well because in one month from now, we're going to do um, a project, kind of launch it, and I'd like everyone here to get involved if they like, and you could become famous as a result. Kind of cool, huh? But it's top secret for one month. So we'll just get started. Today um, we're doing a general theme, and actually we're doing two cards for a general theme for Leos today, because as I was shuffling before I turned the camera on, one flew out of the deck, and then I'd like to pull one more just like I did for everybody else. Um, and then we're going into the areas of family life, home life, friendships, health, work and money, which are sometimes linked, sometimes they're not, and then um, our love life for singles and couples. So sorry for the blah, 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 but now we should be set to get moving. The one that fell on the floor is friendship. It says, I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. So keep your friends really close to you this month, October 17th through November 17th. Make a point of um, spending time with them, keeping in contact. They're there for a reason. Duh. It's very self-explanatory. What's your other overall message this month? This guy. Balance. Oh, boy. <laughs> I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world, and I do so without judgment. So you've got to be careful not to judge yourself, right? Don't compare yourself to other people and the way that they're able to um, balance things in their life, their work life, their family life, their home life, their relationships, that sort of a thing. Because you don't actually know what's going on. You know, you can perceive it one way, but on the inside, it could be totally different. So, trying to achieve balance and maybe working our friends into the balance of our life. Maybe we're not spending enough time with our friends. Okay. I guess we'll find out when we get to the friends section. What's going on in our family lives? And our family can be like our actual family or people we consider to be like family that are around us. It could be your pets. Um, we've got the Queen of Cups in reverse and then the Page of Cups. So throughout this month, um, you might start to feel a little bit disconnected, a little bit un, um, emotionally fulfilled, like you're not cherishing um, the people in your life or the right things at this moment. Uh, something could be distracting you away from that. And so it's just talking to your family about it. It's saying, here's how I'm feeling. Um, how can we achieve more balance? Maybe this is asking your family to help you do stuff. Like if you're always the one cleaning the house and doing the homework with the kids and cooking dinner, maybe you could ask your husband, hey, fucker, can you take out the garbage every once in a while? Because I need to have more balance in my life so I can actually enjoy my time with my kids and play with them instead of you know, just doing all of my motherly duties. No, it doesn't have to be that. But it's that sort of an energy here where something is lacking. Something's making you sad because of an imbalance. So talking about it with other people, asking for their help is definitely going to um, fix that, restore the balance. And um, the balance might be you need more time away from your family. You need more time with your friends. Okay. What's going on in your home life? Now, this could be very closely linked to your family, the people in your home. 
again or like your pets or your actual physical home so we'll know when the cards jump out here um when you're at home you need to spend more time resting this month when you're at home it's like maybe you get antsy there's a lot of things you need to do to clean up do the laundry cook your meals that sort of a thing it's definitely time to get more sleep it's time to just kind of relax and then actually enjoy your physical home um, because you need to feel happy there and if you're always moving and working on things it depletes your happiness a little bit um, this is somebody else had this in their reading I'm trying to remember who it was it might have been Sagittarius or Gemini but that could be a huge lie as soon as I do these readings I totally forget what they say but Somebody had this in there where they need to bring things into their home to make it more beautiful so they feel more comfortable and relaxed within this space. Um, so specifically, like flowers or something like that, or um, new curtains, rugs, that sort of thing. For you, it's a little bit different than what the, the energy than it was for that sign. Um, it's not like about big furniture purchases or anything like that. It's something simple, like flowers or um, just paintings, something beautiful, um, but flowers especially. Okay, what's going on in your friendships? Because this is what we have a lot of message on, and as you can tell, cards are just jumping all over the place to give you some messages about your friends. Uh, first thing, you're worried about your friendships, okay? Um, and you have a lot of anxiety about that. So everybody is going to resonate this is going to resonate very different it feels very much like a kind of like a 25 percent 25 percent 25 percent 25 percent like four different ways that it could resonate um, but what it's saying is like you're either worried that you're not being a good enough friend you're or you're worried that you're being taken advantage of you're worried that you're taking advantage of others um, or you're worried that the friends that you've chosen are shitty and then there's another option you worried that you don't have enough friends <laughs> So many things try not to worry about it first of all because worrying never changes an outcome It says that you have to see things from a totally different perspective, okay? Um, but it won't take you very long, you know once you just hear those words It's like boom you kind of your head spins and then you're seeing things as they are the way that you should I do think you need to spend though more time either making friends or going out with your friends this month. This card is about spending time, having fun, um, actually like going out, partying, drinking, that kind of a thing. Not to excess, but just celebrating your friendships. This one says maybe the reason you're not doing it though is because it interferes in your ability to either make money or because it costs too much money, things like that. Um, but remember, it's important to have that balance in our life. And we already know that this is a big part of our balance this month. So keep that in mind. Okay, what's going on in regards to your health? For Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising, October 17th through November 17th. It would do you really well to take a vacation, actually. If you could squeeze in just like a quick little weekend vacation, run away to Las Vegas or something, that'd be great. Miami, anywhere. It doesn't have to be wild and party time with your friends, although that'd be great. Um, it could also just be something to rest. But that actually makes you feel um, a lot more confident about what you're doing at home and in your work life and within your friendships, within your family life. Like it just brings that balance back. Makes you feel better about what you're doing. It'll be really healthy for you to take that little break. What's going on in regards to your work life? We've got the Four of Pentacles and the Page of Wands. So two separate things. Maybe um, a fear to invest in things. Um, and there might be things that you need for your work. It could be a printer. It could be, um, I mean, anything that you would really need, but you're afraid to hold on to or to let go of the money that you need to invest. Um, and that's okay though and because new ideas are coming and maybe those ideas are better, right? You might think of a more creative solution to how to achieve the same result and get the things that you need that doesn't cost as much. Um, 
It says like sometimes things aren't fair and you're feeling like you're forced to make these changes, but ultimately they're for your for the better in work. So like go ahead and make those investments, but think about alternative solutions. Be creative. In regards to your money, someone could be lying to you about finances. So if you live with somebody else or somehow your finances are tied, watch out for that. Um, and that really depresses you because I think you kind of know that they are. But instead of focusing on how pissed off and how much of an asshole they are, focus on the things that you can control and that are good. You know, like, okay, well, I counted on this person to pay me, you know, this money that they owe me, but, you know, thankfully, I have enough on my own, even though that stinks. Um, because otherwise, you're going to get real depressed. You're going to be much happier if you do take this approach. And you can hold your head high and be satisfied with yourself and your achievements and therefore welcome more blessings for the law of attraction that way. Now, what's going on for Leo singles? Oh, good. So this is, um, this can be a new love relationship, falling in love with somebody, meeting somebody, um, an overflow of positive emotions, or it could be feeling really good about being single. I feel like it's an 80-20 split. 20% 20, um, percent of you may be feeling good about being single, but the others of you falling in love. Um, but we do have the three of swords here. So you have to watch out for disappointment, heartbreak, that sort of a thing. Now, um, that card is universally, I don't always read it this way, but it's like the card of infidelity and cheating. So before you go rushing off and telling someone how much you love them, make sure they're not married first kind of a thing, okay? But you can feel very confident and good about yourself this month. People are looking at you. Um, you're kind of radiating sexiness. I mean, she has her tits out in this card. Like, when do you see that in a tarot card? Seriously right? She's um, just radiating like the sexiness and um, beauty and attraction. And so you'll be like a magnet this month, whether you're male or female, to other people. So that's fun if you're single, right? But just be cautious. Keep your eyes open. Try to know what's going on with other people before you give your heart away because it's possible you will give your heart away and you could get hurt. Um, it could be a minor disappointment, but it could also be a major heartbreak is I guess what I'm saying. It's a general reading for something more specific to your situation. You're probably going to need a personal one. Um, Seven of Swords. Ultimately, though, I think for the majority that any disappointment or heartbreak that you have um, with this new love relationship that you find is not going to be a reason to walk away from them. It just might be a reason in the future why trust is difficult. Um, but it's the kind of... it's not the kind of thing that you're going to keep drudging up over and over and over again. It's just like a little, a little cut. You know, you can put a band-aid on it. So what's going on for Leo couples? The emperor taking control of a situation. So if you have a situation that's been kind of lingering for a while, something that's unresolved, something that's um, kind of a problem in your relationship, it might finally be handled. It's just like drawing a line in the sand, like putting your foot down and handling it. Um, taking control. So maybe one of you or both of you had something going on that was affecting the relationship and um, it was unresolved for a long time. Now it finally is. Um, but it does lead to further confusion and I think that's why it was backburnered or put to the side before. Just because it creates a cascade of other shit. And maybe not within your relationship. I think in your relationship it solves the problem but it creates problems other places. Um, but I think a vacation, Leo's need a vacation, it seems, <laughs> because a vacation together will make you feel good about having made this decision and really, um, putting a foot down on it. Um, but again, that confusion is still going to be there when you get back. So don't think that the vacation is going to solve anything. It's just going to lighten the mood. Um, but ultimately I don't see any breakups or anything like that. I feel like this is a good month for love, for um, reconnecting, kind of rekindling, finding your love, having honest communications, that sort of a thing. So I hope that's helpful. Love and light. See you tomorrow for the daily readings. And if you'd like a personal reading, my contact information is below in the description box. And it's always an honor to read cards for, for you all. And then so are the links to all of the other sites where you'll find um, additional readings on Patreon, Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, 
blah, blah, blah. Bye.